Bridge. They fined her for over six hundred thousand dollars for stealing. Like it was like, and it was like thirty thousand per song. And they sued your sister. Yes. What? I'm dead serious, bro. <laughs> I'm okay now. Welcome to the 90s Win Podcast. Wow. I'm going to let you talk. Welcome. We're talking about all things nostalgia. 90s. Not the 90s 80s. stuff. The greatest oh, decade. just 90s. Industry. No, no, no. If you get out of that. The 90s win. The 90s win. The 90s win. Yeah. The 90s win. The 80s, 90s lose. Win. 2000s lose. Do you remember that old video on, uh, like it went around LimeWire for a while, but it was, uh, <laughs> throwback. The only thing I know that I can't get my, my brain off of right now is the meme about LimeWire. It's a Simpsons. Which the, it's, it's like a, it's like the old, old grandpa and he's like up on a hill and there's like all the kids sitting in front of him and it just says me trying to explain to these kids what LimeWire what is. What LimeWire was. was. so funny. Dude, LimeWire, what, 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 did you ever use it? Was that your main one? Cause like I there was Napster. You see, I got in right after Napster got caught. That's really? whenever I started downloading. I remember I was in eighth grade at the baseball field and Gary Fields goes, Hey man, so have you do you ever use Napster? And I'm like, What is Napster? And he's like, Yeah, and I didn't understand what he was talking yeah. about. Oh, I used and it. I didn't research it because there was no Google. And so I couldn't research it. And then I found out, I was like, This is awesome. And they that's when they were like, Shut her down. Well, I use Napster. My I, I, I remember, just I remember downloading out. so many Hoobastang songs. Hoobastang. The reason is you. Yeah, that was solid. He didn't he die? Uh, did he? Dude, I listened to Man Hoobas thing. I saw them in concert. They were awesome in concert. With uh, they were at Lincoln Park. They played at Altel Arena. And oh wait, Hoobas thing. I I literally was thinking. Uh, I was thinking of Lincoln Park. That's literally who is. In yeah, my he brain died. Lincoln Park. And which I saw Lincoln Park and the Hoobas thing was actually better than Lincoln Park in concert. Like the dude, like. He did. I don't remember. He he did a cover of "Girls Just Wanting Fun." Like they're doing backflips. Like they put on a show. It was the first concert I ever went to where like they're putting on a show. Damn then again, man, like I'd only been to like a Willie Nelson concert. Are they before still around? Was Hoobah Saint doing? I mean, they're probably doing like tours at small venues. But I, I remember I loved Hoobah Saint for a while. The reason was good. They had that one. They had one. What was tour nice schedule one? non-existent. Oh come on, man. I'm sorry, I got us off. We're talking wow. about Thomas. no. I like I like this. Let's talk about this. So yours because there was Aries Galaxy was a download platform. You could do LimeWire, um, Napster. So yours was Napster. Those are the only two I knew. I knew. Okay. Those are the only two that I ever used. And like by the time like LimeWire was was going out, like I wasn't really downloading songs anymore. You weren't. No, I'm a I'm a I'm a physical media kind of guy. I like the CD. I like the compact disc. You like the hoodie my... guns. I like a good CD. See, I'm like the guy that didn't have any money, so I would just go out and steal it all off the internet. So, like, I would what? do Here's... music, movies, TV shows, and real quick, my so I was a senior in college, and I've downloaded. I mean, I think I had a file of like thou thousands of songs and shows. Like, I would watch all of Smallville, just like download the episode like two so hours after dress. it premiered. Huh? So many thumb drives. Oh my goodness, yes. You'd have to stick it on like your hard drive, like pull it, because you didn't want to, the trick was you didn't leave it in there and you didn't share it. So I was like the selfish one that didn't share it with more people because I didn't want to get caught. And so I would pull it all out of there and stick it on my like actual computer and then I wouldn't share anything, but I was taking all yeah. of the stuff. Well, I was a senior in college. My sister was a freshman at the same college. And so we went over and I was like, Chelsea, I was like, are you going to, Get all this, yeah. You know, like, do you want to dip the song? She was like, I don't know. She's terrible at computers. She's like, I don't know what that is. She's like you, essentially, Microsoft wording it, you know, in 2019. Right, and yeah. uh, and she so she got it, and I downloaded like 20 songs. Well, she got caught, and they fined her for over six hundred thousand dollars for stealing. Like it was like, and it was like thirty thousand per song or forty thousand per song, and like a hundred thousand per movie. And she only had like twenty some stuff things, and I had like thousands but she had left them in there she didn't know and she got caught and they literally sued her for over six hundred thousand dollars and they sued your sister yes and she settled out of court for four grand um and she was like 19 years old what i'm dead serious bro because remember that's the thing like there's some music there wasn't streaming and they're like trying to get all these people where Can they, they were, do that now they can, but it's like they everybody really, does. All they like were everybody, all, but they don't steal it now. Now you get your music, you go to YouTube and you listen to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to download it. 
Um, so like the copyright people didn't know how to handle it. So they're trying to target, but all the people they're catching are people that don't know how to do any technology. So like college kids and grandmothers, that's the only people they're catching.